again back once again wow. our TV mm. unscripted yeah. man that, that video is still killing me bro oh, go 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 <laughs> hey pray <laughs> for those who don't know we're talking about um is it because because of a manager yeah England playing cause of it, football right? yeah, yeah. By the time this comes out, we're gonna find out the results of the tactics. Man, I've never seen someone <laughs> so much passion. Yeah. T- but talking so much nonsense at the same time. Shit. So much nonsense. <laughs> so much nonsense. Go, go, go! I said, there's no need for tactics. <laughs> for those who are probably thinking what we're on, we're gonna probably show you the link on um, the Instagram page or whatnot. So you guys actually see what we're talking about, man. Actually, that, that can actually lead into an interesting topic. Regarding right, like passion and talent. Passion and tactics, talent. right? War. Mm. Something like that. I see where you're going with that. Yeah. Probably, probably not episode. No. Probably, probably not episode. <laughs> so, um, actually, uh, today we're going to be talking about, um, as you guys probably see from the, the title of the video, self made. You know, the self made man or self made woman. Is that no first let me bring that more close to me. Yeah. Self made man, uh, self made woman. Does that exist? How does that even look like? Is that is that even real? It's yeah. probably the title. Mm. Wow. There's a lot of angles to this one. I think so. Yeah. Um what is what is self made? Well, from from how well I think it's kind of portrayed in music or not just life in general self-made is kind of that person who's taken pride in um, the fact that they believe in whatever they're doing they've kind of got themselves to a, a certain status or they've managed to acquire a substantial amount of money or whatnot by themselves Okay. It's like it's all on them. Yeah. It's like so in basketball, mean, LeBron James carries the team. Yeah. That makes sense. Like there's no yeah. input. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, I know my views on this. But I want to hear what's your view? Do you think someone, anyone, can actually be self-made? Um, since it's unscripted and we're very direct, straight to the point. No, I 100 wow. percent disagree. Wow. I 100% disagree, you know, um, being self-made, like, how does that even look? I mean, even for example, for example, you want to start a business or um, you want to do a project. Yeah. Of course, you can't depend on people, but you need to be able to have reliance on other people to make things happen. Okay. You know, for someone to say, oh, um, I'm self-made, I did this all by myself. Yeah. That's a lie, you know. Like even even in sport even in sports where <laughs> even in sports where for example there is sports that are singular like for example tennis swimming yeah, yeah. where there's only one competitor yeah there's family yeah. that plays a part okay. there's a coach that plays a part yeah a lot of stuff that plays a part I mean self made is a well overly righteous kind of statement in my books. I mm. think. I do understand where you're coming from, but I do disagree at the same time. I think you can be self-made. I you think, think so? Do you know what? It's getting interesting, guys. Let's okay. Let's let's create like a scenario where I don't know where do you want where, where do you want to put it. Let's say you've got a kid or something like this. Let's say you want to start a mm. business or something like that. Mm-hmm. You've got a kid. Like his parents were really involved in his life. Mm-hmm. He's had to kind of create this kind of entrepreneurial spirit, entrepreneurial mindset yeah. by himself. Mm-hmm. He's gone out of his way, whether it's legal or illegal, to, to try and get this money business back in the business world. Right. I would call that self-made. I would call that self-made. Because he's not look he's not getting assistance from from his parents or anybody else. He's doing it all based on the resources that he has or the resources that he has acquired by himself. Okay, uh, self-made when when you say that. You say by himself, but who gave him the resources? No, he went out and got it. Let's say, I don't know, maybe he was selling in school, selling sweets in school. Okay, fair enough. (laughs) 
Sweating suits in school, okay. This is real life, by the way. This is actually, yeah. super, funny enough, I can say that myself. Wow. I used to sell sweets in school. I used to sell sweets in school. This is getting pound. interesting. Go on, go on, go on. What else? Nutella, round cheese, yeah. pastels. <laughs> yeah, because obviously I'm wanting money for myself. I don't yeah. want to depend on my parents. Exactly. To be like, oh yeah. <clears throat> and obviously being from a Nigerian background, you know, getting money off your parents is not the easiest thing. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> so you have to Just acquire have these to funds. Be in exactly. Like this, you have to acquire these funds for yourself. But then, obviously, I also had a passion for like trainers and just looking fly and mm. just growing and fashion, all that kind of stuff. Now, to afford these things, I need to get my money somehow. Mm. And I couldn't get it for my parents. Mm -hmm. So I had to go out and think of a way of which I yeah. could generate revenue. Yeah. It got to a point now that sweets were not enough to, to fund my expenses. Yeah, yeah. So then I had to think, how can I now generate more money? Mm. Then I started selling shoes again. Mm. And same thing, so I'll call that, I'll call that self made. Okay, now you're gonna, you guys are gonna understand, you're gonna get the other side of things because I also used to sell. <laughs> I also used to do the same thing, you know. For those who haven't seen the intro episode, we both from, came from the same thing, yeah. but anyways, I also used to sell McCoy's. Um, I never saw Lucas Day, I saw Pepsi, I think. Pepsi, uh, donuts. <laughs> I still don't understand how Pepsi's cold. Real... <laughs> Listen, when it came to the end of the well, day, donuts yeah. fresh. Of course, no, I, no. Listen, I would never, <laughs> never, <laughs> unless it was something packeted yeah. like you know, Chris. Bring that same stuff. I would the never, day. ever, and whoever You're back in the like days, <laughs> whoever back in the days used to sell. I just want to know how individually you could sell like that is so unethical uh, by, by is. itself donuts out of a pack of like five from Sainsbury's. Shut the plug. Um, <laughs> but I would never ever just thinking about the clients, you know, really thinking yeah. about the clients or the yeah. customers back yeah. then. <laughs> like literally have a pack of donuts, not sell out, probably have two or three, bring them home, leave them anywhere, and then yeah. bring it again the next day, day to sell the so kids. That's almost as bad as doing people, drugs. People, That's people, <laughs> doing people are doing it though. That's what I mean. I, I used to hear stories. I used to hear stories. I don't know. It was just rumors. Yeah, yeah you rumors. never like you yeah, know like, who, who. <laughs> But I'm definitely sure there were some people that did that. And wow. From my memory, yeah. I don't think I bought donuts from no. anyone in school. I never bought I couldn't justify even spending fifty P for a donut when I know I can go and get a pack of five for sixty five P. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah I, I used to also sell in school. Yeah. Um for the probably the same reasons as you. Um, I didn't want to just depend on the the lunch money my, my parents gave me, yeah. you know. To How much did you get for lunch? How much did I get for lunch? I, I think for the first three years, yeah. I was on, what's that, that card? Oh, the thing, oh, the lunch card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> for those who know in our school, yeah. For those who know in our school, yeah. <laughs> People used to even sell the lunch card. That's how you know we went to a business school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those are interesting times. So we got wow. some people so in, in, in the draft <laughs> along with too. So the people used to so for example that lunch card would buy probably what, two pounds worth yeah. of food. But then after people would sell that for one pound, obviously like if you're trying to sell a gift card, you wouldn't sell it with the exact That's amount that it could buy yeah. you with. Uh, anyway, let's go go on with the topic. Give the topic. Um, so I used to do that myself, um, but okay, I, I took the initiative to do that to sell, make my profit, yeah. uh, buy the things I want. Whether it was games, or just have like more spending money, whatnot. Mm. But even then, I needed certain things to work in my favor i needed certain people even though i was i was selling by myself i needed certain people to kind of help me out you know in what sense um i'm trying to get to how are you not talking about customers no no not okay, customers okay, obviously okay. Okay. trying to but even but, customers no because but that's oh no because because someone could snake you okay Someone wow. could snake you. Someone could have snaked you in school. Wow. If they really wanted to. But if they didn't was... like you. People don't okay. didn't like you, they'll snake you. Especially the older orders oh, would Because yeah. <laughs> I remember you're going yeah. back to school, 
There was one guy, Moses, I don't think you'd be watching him, I'll say your name anyway, Moses. <laughs> 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 Baby Mark, just like that. Um, <laughs> I remember he actually got headbutted. Wow. He, he got headbutted because I didn't think he wanted he want to give a bar of chocolate to one of yeah. the guys in year 10 or yeah. whatnot, which is ridiculous. I'm not, I'm going to be against that. I thought I was wrong. Wow. But that kind of needs to work in your favor at the same time. Yeah. The oldest need to kind of like you or at least not hate you. If they don't hate you, you're good. Yeah. But that does, I don't feel that ties into that being self made because that's just. Or for, that's example, or for example, like if you're talking about, you know, on a bigger scale of things, you're doing a business. Um, I, I, I don't know, it's kind of like football. You need a bit of luck. Like when you're in school, you learn about probability. You need, you know, the numbers to work in your favor. I disagree sometimes. with that as well. I disagree with the whole luck thing. Number one, I feel like. If you are persistent and you are, if you're diligent in that, in whatever you do, mm-hmm. I think you will reap a level of success, regardless. Mm-hmm. Regardless, you might not reach the pinnacle or the elite level, but mm-hmm. you will get some form of mm-hmm. reward, depending on how hard you work. I, so I, I think I don't think luck exists. I don't think luck exists. Mm-hmm. Well, I agree to an extent what you're saying. Luck. I think it does exist, but you obviously you can't rely like on it. If yeah. you're if you if you have the ability and you know you're putting in the work and whatever you're doing, uh, that could, maybe not because just like this, like you could say luck. But let's say if you didn't if if you weren't okay. Let me give you an example. Like I don't know. Let's say someone blew off like a one hit wonder. If the person didn't make the song, they wouldn't have blown off anything. Okay. So, so is there aspects of luck? I don't think luck exists. I don't think luck exists. I think timing plays a part. Like some people, some people yeah. they reach that level faster than others. But then, but if, I don't think that's if, down to luck. If you're now saying, that's yeah, to, if you're now saying that luck doesn't exist, so going back again to probability, it's like the back to school episode kind of probability <laughs> that you learn in maths, you know, GCSE maths. <laughs> what do you call that then? Well, because, like, for example, okay, this is this is just a very basic example, yeah. Yesterday, um, when I went to meet someone, when I had to leave my house to meet someone in, in Box Park, okay. um, and when I had to leave my house again to play football, yeah. the exact same, well, not the exact same bus, I needed two buses that went to one location, <laughs> and they both came, literally as I came out of my apartment. Yeah. So what is that? A coincidence. Yeah, but then after, uh, that's just a nice <laughs> way, that's being politically correct. <laughs> That's I don't think that's, I don't coincidence and luck. I think they're two different things. Luck is like, but both you strategy. can't control. Both you can't control. You can't control the coincidence. Yeah, exactly. Luck so, is not. I don't think luck is even a thing. Yeah. I don't think it's, there's a thing called luck. I think there's hard work. There's talent. So you tell me, what's the difference between and luck tactics. and coincidence, or something okay. coincidentally happened and something happened by luck? Okay, I feel like. A coincidence is something that just happens by chance. Like if you, um, like you being in the same place as I don't know, like seeing someone like twice or I don't know, mm-hmm. in one day whatever. It's, so it's, coinc- it's a coincidence. Same you cannot control uh-huh. it. Luck. What people define as luck, I feel like you can control it to an extent. People like to use luck as a as an excuse for not reaching something, or not being able to do something. Yeah, I agree with that. But let's say you were putting in the work, I think you can excuse the fact of luck. It's why I don't think luck is a thing. I don't think luck is. But then I. I, I think it's an excuse. <laughs> no, it's true. No, I agree that sometimes it can be used as a scapegoat. But then backtracking a bit, a bit more to well, backtracking to the question I asked. Yeah. What is the difference? Because some people can also use coincidence as an excuse. No. To, really. What's the difference between luck? Having luck, or having, as some people don't say, good luck, okay. and then something happening coincidentally, you know, in your favor, without you doing anything, without you having like no control or, you know, no number awareness. One, number one, happening. luck is, luck is. <sighs> Wait, it's, it's not luck. It's, defi- it's, it's not luck like defi- in itself. <laughs> <laughs> luck and coincidence. <laughs> I feel like we'll see. Maybe people tie luck to like. A good thing, like you say, good luck. Yeah, which is something. It's like it's like a wish mm. kind of thing. A coincidence just happens. Mm. It's just something that just just happens. 
Well, I don't know. It's hard to define. It's hard to define the word. Okay, let's say, okay, let's put this in a, con a context that probably some or most people kind of relate to in terms of what we love and probably some who love, well, some who are watching love, uh, football. Yeah. When the, okay, the, con the weather conditions. Okay. Um, you have a player playing up front who is very skilled. He's got yeah. many goals throughout the season. Okay. This is the final yeah. of, a, of a cup game. And he would normally finish off his chances. Yeah. And let's say for most of the tournament, it's in the summer. Yeah. It's hot, you know, it's dry. Yeah. But then after on cup final day, yeah. it's pouring rain. Okay. Or maybe let's say halfway it starts pouring rain. Yeah. And then the ball comes to him, he has a chance. Yeah. You know, to score. Yeah. But the pitch, you know, obviously because it's it's probably really wet, yeah, it affects the um the way that the ball's delivered into him. Okay. And then he miss kicks it. Okay. Now that's when I will now say big game, big players. You should have anticipated uh. this. <laughs> you should have anticipated the, con the conditions. The elite people do that. But some no, but people can't. but a lot of young people will put it down to luck. People will yeah. say that, oh yeah, he was unlucky because yeah. the weather conditions. Yeah. No, he wasn't unlucky because the weather's <laughs> affecting everybody. The weather's gonna affect the keeper no, as well. True. Because then if he did catch it cleanly and the keeper just let it slide through his hand, they will say the keeper was unlucky and he was lucky for making contact. But but then again, I think that if you give if you take all the power to yourself and say that nothing was based on luck or coincidence, you know, or really what to call it then you'll, you'll probably beat yourself up for a lot of things that probably Shit. you didn't have control of. Uh -huh. I think that's part of being real at the same time, where um, you you know when to kind of accept in the few cases, well, um, small amount of cases where you know you actually couldn't do much. Yeah. You probably could do something, but not much. Mm. And you didn't expect what happened to happen. And mm. then in those cases where actually you could have affected the situation or anticipated Oof. Okay, yeah, I do understand that. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, it's, <laughs> it's actually a weird one. It's yeah, a weird it's one. funny. It's a weird one. But in terms of like what I say, like the difference, I feel like a coincidence all comes down to like probability and stuff like that. Whereas luck, I feel like people just use luck and there's there's no probability there there's nothing there it's just like you got this pulling from thin air mm. like i don't know so it's in context of like going back to it yeah. being like self-made mm. how do you think people kind of use that as an excuse where they're they try and uh, rely on that too much that's a, that's that's a, yeah that's that's why i don't like the word luck because like I was saying, like oh, but being like, self-made, as you said, you don't think it exists when you're self-made. If you believe that it does, yeah, it, 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 it So I feel like luck holds people back from being what they, what I would say is self-made. Okay. But like, do you still think? I still think you can be self-made. Okay. Because there's a lot of cases, a lot of scenarios where I would say people didn't have no backing, that like no one was supporting them. Mm. Obviously, you in. <laughs> You are going to need people. Yeah. People are a resource. Mm -hmm. People are the biggest resource. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't have a business and not have no customers. Mm -hmm. You can't have a business and, and not have any, you know, any, any partners or anything yeah, like exactly. that. You won't, nothing will operate. Mm -hmm. You need people. But in terms of, like, actually creating things, in terms of who was the person that was up at 2 a.m. in the morning mm -hmm. that was doing things mm -hmm. with what support? Mm -hmm. okay. I think in that sense, you can be self made. Okay, okay. Uh, I understand that. I see. To that extent, yes. The then is bringing up another question in my mind. <laughs> is that confusing being self-made with being self-efficient? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's getting it's getting interesting. I think being yes, yeah, like be <laughs> being efficient. Number one, that ties in. That's one of the characteristics of you being self-made. Mm. Like you can't, you couldn't be, you couldn't be self-made without having, yeah. Like um, waiting for things to happen. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't. Kind of like what you said, like luck. You're you know, waiting for waiting something. For, waiting a lucky for break. An factor. A lucky break. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't be self-made in, in in that in that scenario. So mm. I think they go in hand in hand. Like 
you for you to be self-made you have to be you have to be driven mm. you have to be self-sufficient you have to you have to have that drive that if nobody else is going to do i'm still going to do what i have to do mm-hmm. kind of thing so i definitely agree with that i definitely agree with that um but then going back again swinging the pendulum again on my side this <laughs> is um being the the title self-made you know um where people take real pride hmm. in, in that yeah <laughs> nine times out of ten i don't think it's with the intention to say okay you know actually to an extent <laughs> some people helped me along the way along the way even though maybe you had to do most of the work but you didn't do all of it i you think know? you're mixing i think self-made I think is just two, bottom line kind of people. There's the people that call themselves self-made and the mm-hmm. people that other people call self-made. The people okay. that call themselves self-made tend to be like, you know, the rappers. Mm-hmm. I'm not mentioning names, like, mm-hmm. a lot of people that, like, they you say they're self-made. No, but they weren't mentioning were, names. I think Jay-Z is the one biggest, of them. Even Jay-Z, I Even though Jay-Z, he's a pioneer, I, I, I respect him Jay-Z, a lot. I give him that a little bit because he's created, he's, he's, he's literally turned, like, from, from dust to riches, mm-hmm. from rags to riches. Like he's he, from being a drug dealer, mm-hmm. and he's turned his life around. So even being a rapper, to now even being the top, to yeah, even now being a billionaire, like it takes like not every, exactly. It, yeah. t- it takes a lot to get to that level. But then now that like people like Rick Ross, I don't know, you know what I mean? This guy calls himself a self-made billionaire. Like <laughs> he's not even a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, Rick Ross is not a billionaire. Hey. He's not. Hey. He's not a so, billionaire. He's far from. I think when I checked his net worth, I can't remember why I did. Yeah, I think he's worth mm, tops thirty, mm. tops thirty, and that's peanuts compared to probably even like twenty. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's, that's what cool. we know of him. So people yeah. lying, well, well, wow, like that. Okay, okay, it's the truth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go back to what I was saying. I think yeah, there's the two different kind of people. Like him and Jay Z, like you're saying. I don't think I was really um, okay. You might say in in some of his raps, but like in a, in an interview of him talking or anything like that, mm. he would never call himself self made. He would never say. He never said, no. You're thinking about his thing, but that's that's a rap on that. Mm. You say that in your bars, that like, it's just uh, okay. If, it's, I'm it's, honest, it's I, if, if I'm honest, I couldn't pinpoint but, exactly when he said that, but I feel you know when you feel no, like you just have a sense that. Saying, so you never heard him like, say that. I haven't heard him say that. In, in, heard him say that. I haven't heard him say that. I'm saying now he might have said it yeah in one of these bars, but people like it, you say that is the nature of, mm. of, of the of the of the genre of music. Okay, but if you're thrown in your bars, so do you mean it or not? Because a lot of things that people that's say, what people, rules are, right? but bars like when people are making music, a lot of the stuff that they're saying is metaphorical. metaphorical. A lot of the stuff is not actual factual. There are factual stuff in there, but. Especially number one now, being a rapper like it's all about. I don't know. It's kind of like a a sport, a competition. Yeah, it's a competition. It's a competition, like getting one over, you know, the other Mm. person, or just trying to make yourself look that's in a certain light. Not saying that it's not truthful or anything like that, but that's yeah, that's a factor to consider. Mm. But you, but look at now Jay Z uh, in an interview. I look at his music. I look at what he says. I feel like they're two different kind of personalities. Wherever his music, like he's very out there mm. kind of thing. In his interviews and stuff, he's more reserved. Yeah, know? yeah. Well, maybe it might be a maturity thing. Actually, yeah. Well, that's and maybe you know, I might. Well, in terms that's of that, not, but maybe wrong. But uh, well, even I was even Jay Z was even the example I was even looking for. Like I was gonna, I was looking at people like you know, like um, Alan Sugar mm. or like um, Richard Branson, mm. people that literally came from nowhere. And they created something for myself. Mm. I'll call that self-made. Okay. I'll call that self-made. And the thing is, these people, they don't, they will never go out themselves and say, yo, I'm self-made, I'm a self-made billionaire, or anything like that. People will say that about themselves. Newspapers, media okay. will say that about them. Okay. But they will never actually say that. Okay, that's kind of a, obviously a thing where you can say you're good, but then if you're you're not supposed to give yourself that title, if that makes sense. Yeah. Or like yeah. you see some I don't think you where should they give, give themselves yeah. or I'm the best ever or I don't think I don't think you should give your, yourself a title of, of being self made mm. because I think that's a bit a little bit egotistical a little bit like just I think I, from the point you're giving yourself that title I think more often than not 
Yeah, you're less, you're less self-made than you think. You're, 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 less, you're less self-made. You're less self-made. Yes. Yeah. It, debatably, if, even if that is a fake, but I still kind of disagree it's not. But if it is, you mm. know, to an extent, then you're less self-made. Yeah. If you're really taking pride in it that way. It's, it might then become a kind of insecurity kind of thing. Mm. Where, for example, if you're rich, you have money. Yeah. You know, you don't need to prove to anyone that you yeah. do. Unless it's a kind of complex that you have where you need to you need to prove you need to be on the one up you need to like going back to to, to rappers uh, um, yeah. like the industries of sport where people you know need to be better than the other guy mm. and oh, that makes that makes sense you know in that kind of context you know I, I, I would definitely um, agree with that. Mm. Um, but you still don't believe people are self made. So mm. going back to that example, yeah, like Alan Sugar, Lord Sugar, whatever, would you say he's self made? Or do you know his story? I don't know. Give us a bit of a give, wow. can you give us a bit of a synopsis. Well, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, just just a short like yeah, <coughs> from that like, age of about 15, 16. He just had a van, started selling fruit and veg. Okay, I remember that. Yes. Oh, was it fruit and veg? Yeah, started selling fruit and veg. Obviously, he moved up. Then started selling like um, like computer products and all that kind of stuff. Then started he owned Amstrad and started like producing that like, actual like um, like computer products, satellites, all this kind mm. of stuff. And then boy, he is where he is now, mm. kind of thing. I would call that self-made. It's just a boy from East London. Yeah, selling stuff so like a van. <laughs> Number one, yeah, to be a market trader, I think you do need to be self made because he's helping you out. Who's, who's, going, yeah, to, who's going with you to Billings Gate Market at 4 a.m. in the morning exactly. to buy fruit and veg? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, you, you know, the, I'll commend you, you know the story quite well to be naming it the location. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, okay, no, okay, I, I have to, That that is true, that is true. Uh, I definitely agree with that. Mm. Um, when you give that example of um, sad and sugar, um, I guess you know it's kind of like table tennis. I'm just gonna have to, you know, you <laughs> serve it. I'm gonna have to return it. Serve it. Return it. God. Um, What's the return? Taken away from some, we can't take away the credit that is due to someone who, um, like you said has put in the work, for example, in the context of like their professional business, whatever, yeah. they've put in the work, they've put in the effort, you know, when no one was there to support them, they were supporting themselves. Yeah. They didn't just talk about what they would do, they did it, mm. which is what you have to do in life sometimes. Yeah. You know, um, like even on another episode where you spoke, you were speaking about, you know, um, excuses or challenges or whatnot, everything's kind of like a, a filter mm. to an extent. Um, but yet again, going back again to Sir Alan Sugar's point, mm. I'm sure at some point, even though for maybe a lot of the time it was him pulling away, I think at some point yeah. things had to work in his favour. Even if it wasn't people, mm. things had to work in his favour. Who knows, maybe, we don't know the ins and outs, but maybe the person that um, he was getting the fruit and veg from was giving him discounts. Or maybe, yeah. you know, certain doors well, that he went through that, 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 that he didn't lock he didn't knock down every that, door by himself. Okay. Someone had to help him to unlock the key. This, this is the thing. <laughs> it didn't, okay, let's say let's say the person was giving that discount. Wasn't door, it yeah. wasn't it wasn't it him that created that avenue for himself? No, it's true. Okay, no, I'm trying to okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is true. That is true. In that context, I definitely agree. I'm not saying that. I'm talking like, about the whole yeah, picture, though. Like the whole picture. That's what, that's what I said. Yeah, going back to point. Like no one is an island. You can't be an island, yeah, because you need people, you need interaction, you mm. need human contact for you to, to develop in anything. Mm. People are a resource. Mm. So there's no way that you can literally go about any idea or any 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 grind or hustle or anything mm. without having interaction with other people or about someone else being there mm. and now what i'm saying is that there's a difference between relying on those people or getting help from those people mm. and then you just doing your own thing okay yeah, yeah. kind of thing. dependence because, and reliance 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's the difference. That's what makes. That's. Mm. <laughs> 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 Very careful. It's you know what I'm saying. Not, not too careful, though, mate. Not too careful. There's no script here. We threw down the bid, mate. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I feel like when you start depending or relying or you're assisted by other people, I feel like that's when you are not self made. Okay, and that would definitely. Well, Ironically, that's set up for a different kind of um, episode or whatnot. But I really disagree with that. A hundred and ten percent. A hundred and ten percent. To the extent of if self-made actually exists, which you think it does, I think you go and out, for example, to collaborate with people to do the work. I agree with that, yes. But then to say, unless you want to backtrack what you said, yeah. to an extent, Actually, to any kind of extent, if someone assists you or helps, obviously you've had to maybe do most of the work or make that first that first step. Um, that that but do you know what? That's, I feel like we need that's to, normal. The, no, but the, because the, you said the whole that no one can be an island, so yeah. if you can't be an when island. I'm saying, when I'm saying assistance, yeah, I'm not saying okay, like Lord Sugar, the person that was selling to Lord Sugar. Or whatever, whether he was selling a discounted price or anything like that, that's not assistance because he, he's still making these profit. Okay. He's still making these things, so he's not assisting with sugar. He's not doing anything. Okay. That's just that's that's business. But you need foot that's soldiers. Demand. Sometimes like, you need foot soldiers. You need the foot soldiers. Yeah. The pe- okay. Even the foot soldiers. Let's even the people yeah that would have been working for Lord Sugar. They are they are assisting him in a sense. Yeah. But they're also working for themselves. They're also doing their own thing. Okay. All right. They, no, they, so are they assistance? This is real now, assistance. Now, what I'm talking about, assistance, is like handouts or loans or someone okay. giving, giving you something. Someone like hmm. someone from a well-off background. Like, I don't think you can be self-made in that sense because you already got resources there. But now, going out of your way to provide those resources so that you can now flourish. Self-made. So with what? That's self-made. Let me just speak They're coming from a background of having. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. With, with what Mr. Shags has said. <laughs> I'm just speaking close to the mic now. <laughs> is Rap Man the man behind Shire's story? And now, as we even earlier today saw, he's releasing a movie in yeah. November yeah. working with Paramount Pictures. Oh. Is Rap Man, who also received. You could say a hand up from Rock Nation, Jay-Z, whoever, is rap man self-made. I can't I can't say whether he's self-made or not because I don't know enough about him, about his personal mm. journey to, to say that he's self-made. All I can see, all that I've seen is that this is somebody that's been grinding mm. and that is now just reaping the reaping the results of what he's been grinding for. I can't say he's that he's self-made. I, I can't say if he's self-made <laughs> because I don't know whether for one of these music videos, there was a there was um. Trying to get him to go on set. <laughs> I can't say that there wasn't. I don't know somebody um um a filmmaking company, not filmmaking company, music producing company, whatever that must have been like. Oh yeah, we'll film your your video for free or something like that mm. because that's that's a big help. Mm. That's okay, help. That's okay. helping there. So I can't really make that judgment. Mm. But all I can see is that this is somebody that's worked hard mm. in that sense. Mm. So, which yeah. is definitely, he's definitely worked out and it's definitely shown. Um, but okay. which goes back to my point again as well. If you work hard, no matter how long it takes, you will receive or you will, you will get some some level of reward back. That is in true. What, no matter field, whatever field it what, is, you reap what you sow, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's like you can't not put the work in and then be consistent and nothing will happen. Yeah. And yeah, I definitely agree with that point to an extent where speaking about self-made. Mm. To an extent, again, if it does exist, because some of us don't think it exists, <laughs> um, oh, yeah. if someone does help you out considerably, mm. you wouldn't know in every story how much people yeah. get a certain amount of help, yeah. which goes back to the point that we even made earlier on of um, how um, certain rappers who boast about, you know, they're self-made or musicians, or not just rappers, but just generally people who yeah. like to really claim the self-made title. Mm. But we don't know to an extent, maybe to a big extent, how much help they actually got, mm. or how much 
not self-made if that's even English <laughs> who they are it's, you know mm. which is just very interesting when you actually think about it because yeah you don't know the real in, ins and outs it's true obviously you just believe what they're saying mm. but that is also very true you know but I, I can kind of see at least from your your, your yeah. vantage point that um, when you're for you self-made is when someone literally has put everything on their back yeah. you know where it's like for example when you've gone shopping you mm. know and probably you know you've done shopping for your household or probably a household of four or five and you've yeah. literally carried all the bags mm. from point a to point b by yourself by yourself mm. maybe someone came to help you bring them up the stairs when you got to the the flat or the house but you by yourself you went there you packed everything you got it on your back mm-hmm. and you took it yeah but then again <laughs> the bus driver you probably got on the bus but you got on the bus okay fair enough but the bus driver is doing his job he's just driving oh. <laughs> he doesn't care if you are carrying 10 bags or not he's just driving all he has to do is drive this <laughs> and he's getting paid for it Fair enough. He's fair enough. For it. Fair enough. Fair if enough. now it, it will be different now if there was somebody that's going a completely different direction that had their own car and they stopped and they picked you up. Mm. That's a different thing. But bus drivers is doing his job. He's getting his money. So I don't feel like he's a he's a factor. He's just doing what he's doing. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I guess like with this kind of argument, there's a there's a lot of peaks and troughs. In, yeah. You know, uh, a lot of ways you can actually see it, which mm. is which makes. The topic interested in itself mm-hmm. um so basically what you're trying to say is if someone gets help i'm trying to i'm still trying to get on one side i'm not you know a or b yes or no uh, if someone gets help mm-hmm. they're not self-made or are you saying no going, going back on what you said i'm trying to catch you up on both okay go on. <laughs> that actually what you mean is to an extent they received help because if you're saying that the first what i said first that if you get help you're not self-made yeah. that means you're trying to say that there are people who exist out there who have got no help there are people that have got no help ah oh, there's, 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 there's people that have got what? no help there's actually been people that have been at the bottom i know people personally that have literally created at some point themselves. some I, no, I no, 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 no. Believe. no when i say get help yeah that's what you have to you have to kind of like uh, quantify yeah, like, okay, like, yeah, what, what yeah, kind yeah. of help Define it is okay. what enough. kind of what, what is yeah, help fair enough, fair enough. but there's people that have literally had nothing literally been supported in no way mm. form or shape yeah and they have created a path for themselves or they've done something they've passed they've they've they've, they've made it they've made a little so if someone puts you on you're not self-made no if you get recognized that someone puts you on, like, or no, your actually, boy puts yeah, you on, you are self-made because you are self-made because the, before before you got put on, you were doing something. Okay. You were doing something, so you could possibly be self-made. Mm. Like, I don't feel like self-made only. You can't just look at self-made like when um, the the success arrives. Mm. Part of the journey, mm. the journey might be where the self-made stage took place. Well, that's okay, where it no, mainly takes. Yeah. That's where it mainly takes. It's true. Place. Yeah. Okay. I've been making music, making music, making music. Nobody's there. I've been sending it to people. Nobody's giving it to me. I'm paying for my studio time. I'm working five jobs for my studio time. For this, for this, for that, for that, wherever. Mm. Nobody's giving me a break. I've got two kids. I've got. I don't know. <laughs> Just yeah. the, the most deepest yeah. scenario. Yeah. So the trials and like the battles you know where you're you have to go through the trenches yeah. no one was there to make it yeah. easy path easy for you where are you with me when i was shooting in the gym where are you with me when i was shooting in the gym was that your question or you? no i'm just oh <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, I just don't check just replay my mind hey, hey. okay that that I, it's, I, it's, I a, it's, it's true though it's true that is okay you know i see i see i see where you where, you, where you're going with it you know when, mm. when, when you mention it like that um most of the most of the time not all the time um 
with the argument and I, I, I agree to a, to a small extent um, I can see what you know from someone's uh, vantage point self-made might look like mm. uh, like how you said where you've gone you've literally had to um, do all you 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 ha- you could possibly do and yeah. push yourself to limits beyond boundaries that you didn't even know you could push yourself through without someone actually being there yeah. to make things easier for you. Like for yeah. example, uh, for those who have done rock climbing, I've only done it once in my life. And that's yeah. in school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but someone hasn't, you know, been there to hold your foot so you can go higher. Yeah. You had to literally dig your fingers into um, the different rock stones, whatever you want to call it, yeah. so that you could get to the top. Mm. So is that basically what you're trying to say? Yeah, you done. You done the work. Uh-huh. You were there with minimal assistance. No one, no one was assisting you. Hmm. No one was looking out for you then. No one was doing anything. That's self-made. But wait, oh my days! Talking about coincidences. Look at that table. What does it say? The self-made toolkit. Is it not a coincidence? Is well, it self-made? You can use it. You can see it. I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's self-made a talk here. This is rubbish, mate. <laughs> what? It's self-made talk here. What? Who put that there? Anyway. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe. Oh my gosh. It's rubbish, wow. mate. That's even worse. That's it's a self-made. bad coincidence that we're talking about self-made then. Honestly. Self-made. Honestly. Oh, that coincidence. Is, that's not luck, yeah. That's not luck. That's not that's, luck. That's a coincidence. That's not, that's same, not luck. Same difference. I think they're two, they're two different things going back to you. They're two, they're two different same things. Same difference, man. Luck is an excuse. No self, 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 I don't know what, I don't even been reading the leaflet. Self made toolkit. That's not even possible because someone made the toolkit. Nah, but actually, they're talking about the guidelines. So, what it, it's like, actually, no, yeah, you can have a self made to, toolkit. In Just basically, context. okay, give me the characteristics of what you need to, to, to have to stay driven, to stay diligent, to basically make it through this time where people are not looking out for you, people mm. are not trying to help you, but people only help you when you're up there and mm. you put the money, that's when people are now looking like, oh, how yeah. can I help, how can I assist you? But doing the grind, yeah, yeah. nobody's really there. Mm. Okay, you no, can't have a toolkit. I definitely agree with that. You uh, can't have a toolkit. I definitely 100% agree with that. <laughs> what a very I just find it so mad that that's on the table. <laughs> Right. Wow! I wonder the what, what probability. <laughs> the, what's the chances was, that this is a topic that we're talking about today? Yeah, I'm on the, the, the desk. Yeah, as self-made, self-made. Wow! Talk, mate. Wow! 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 I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. So I think you should take one of those home. Yeah, you take it home. So that, 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 that's, that's what you believe in. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you believe in. Wow. Well, no, um, that. That is a topic with different, many, many layers. Another reason why I'm gonna just the last thing I'm gonna say about luck here. Yeah. Luck doesn't exist, and people like to say luck when they reach something or they get their big break. No, I believe number one here yeah, in the thing called law of attraction, mm-hmm. which means when you're doing something, when you're surrounding it. yourself with so many things, and I also believe in God as well. Mm-hmm. So when you're doing something and you're putting it all into yeah. it, as long as it's something that's actually you know like your yeah. destiny, like what you should be doing. Like, I feel like God will help you. Mm. The people that need to sub, that need to be around you mm-hmm. to help you, they're going to be placed in your life as well. Mm. You attract those things that will, will benefit you. Yeah, right. well, at least we'll probably wrap up well, agreed on that point. People will say, yeah. luck. I will What's luck? What's <laughs> luck? <laughs> at, least, at least we're going to end, you know, a brood or something. And good I luck in your exam. Don't give me good luck in my exam. If you, if you did the revision, that's it. I, I agree with that as well. I agree with that too. That, yeah, if you're, if you're doing something and you're meeting the requirements, yes. eventually, as you said, the law of attraction, um, it will come to you or yes. you are getting close to it. Exactly. You are getting close to it. You know, one way or another. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's that, that's it. I, I think definitely it might be interesting to do something like that with uh, a guest and see what they yeah. or even maybe a debate with us. You know, I want to see other people's opinions. In fact, you guys let us know your opinions down there. Let's they, let's keep this conversation going as well. Yeah. So in the comments, yeah. let us know. Man. Drop us likes, 
subscribe, comment. Yes. Do you guys think self made really exists? <laughs> Is Shags really talking any sense? <laughs> <laughs> uh, any talking sense? Let us know in the comment section. Yeah. ROTV Unscripted. That is it. Mm. Oof. I still can't get over that thing. <laughs> <laughs>